per person, which is like a measure of economic wealth, mm -hmm. basically. And now, um, and then for the other axis, we could use um, like life expectancy is a good one, average lifespan in different countries. So then we put these down on the two different axes to label the x and the y axis. Each country is represented as here as a circle. Um, and then as you, you got it sort of a year sided here, so you can go through time mm -hmm. starting in the early 1800s and then kind of scan up through the years and watch as the kind of cloud of, of countries moves and changes. Mm -hmm. um, if you put it in next to it, now it highlights the path there. <clears throat> of the United States. So you can sort of see this, this story where the United States starts out kind of leading the pack in wealth and health. Um, and uh, as, the, as the centuries progress, it pretty much continues to lead the pack, uh, advancing in, in wealth. And then in the middle of the 20th century in health, um, there's kind of some really interesting other stories though, like uh, if you take China, mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> living as long as people almost in the United States, although it's still a lot more poor. And then if you uh, look in the last few decades, it does this amazing little, little horizontal run where it's pretty much catching up. And okay. so, yeah, uh, we... Uh, so that's the code that you've written and then that can be edited too? Yeah, so the code that's running this chart is all um, on this page here. Mm -hmm. uh, and I guess we could ask like, is there like a baby boom in Sweden around mm -hmm. that time? Do they, do they do that too? So we can follow Sweden along. Um, maybe we can remove US for a sec. Thanks. Uh, so, yeah, there's like a little mini, mini baby boom. It, it definitely has a little increased, uh, mm -hmm. increased fertility rate for a decade or two after World War II. What's the background? It's kind of neat because there's like a bunch of different ways you might want to graph this. And I can imagine somebody, for instance, right now saying, Huh, you know, like, I kind of want to see the trace of Sweden and also have some of these be labeled. Uh, but they could actually go into the code and make that happen. Right.